Cornerstone story begins the way a lot of stories do, with a group of everyday people coming together to help their community. It begins in 1957, when seven hardworking employees of Harrison Radiator met at the UAW Hall to discuss helping others at the plant, how they could be there for people during the good times and the bad, and how they could do it with respect and compassion for everyone. Each of those men brought $5 to the meeting that day and signed a letter that would ultimately form Unit Number 1 Federal Credit Union. In the 60 years since, we've grown to more than 49,000 members in five branch locations across Niagara County. And while we're incredibly proud of how far we've come, we've never forgotten our humble beginnings with those seven men and $35. My dad was chairman of the supervisory committee here for 30 years, 40 years. I remember going to UAW Hall where the, the original was. I was like seven or eight years old. He would do his supervisory stuff. They'd put me at a desk and I played with the electronic uh, calculator, which I thought was pretty cool back then. When I first got my first paper row when I was 13, that's when I joined the credit union. Obviously, we have grown. We're the largest credit union in Western New York, roughly 50,000 members, $400 million in assets, which is uh, a lot different than that little small room at the UAW Hall. We continue to do what we, we've done in the past. We continue to try to give you the best rates. We don't always look at just your credit score. If you need help, we can help you with that. We've always been very conservative and safe to begin with, and I think we may actually attract more people here because of the, the safety uh, and security of the credit union. We definitely have gotten involved in the community, uh, whether it was the uh, concert series or donating to hospice, obviously the Cornerstone Arena, sponsorship with Niagara University Hockey, Jazz Festival, Lewiston, Craft Festival in Lewiston. We followed our mission, people helping people, which has was always been our mission. And uh, I, that's gonna continue to be our mission. We want to give back to the people who really helped us start this credit union and continue to grow the credit union. At Cornerstone, we're so thankful to the members who have put their faith in us and allowed us to help them achieve their dreams. Because ultimately, Cornerstone is here for one reason, people. People like Ron L. Basham, who joined Cornerstone in 1977 when he started working for Harrison Radiator after serving 18 years in the United States Air Force. It's something unbelievable. I never would have believed when I was in the Air Force going through what I was going through, where life is very fragile and very quick, you know. But like as I hear him now, 83 years old, and hey, you know, I'm still here. Unbelievable. Uh, I started out like everyone else did on the liner, and I got in quality control, which was very good, you know. It helped me to better appreciate the cars that I was driving, you know. I never realized how complicated it was to make a car. Cornerstone was unit one. We were just starting out. They were trying to get started, so a lot of guys say, you should join, you know, they could really use you, you know, so. I was talked into it, so I joined the uh, credit union. It was just a baby in the infancy right then, down in the basement of the union hall. I knew that banks were different credit unions. When you belong to a bank, you leave town, they want you to close your account. Credit union, no matter where you go, you're always belong, so. I think the relationships are much different because it's one-on-one -on -one where they really know you and your family and everything, you identify by name when you come in. They know you when your birthday is and all that stuff that, you know, I've, I've got cakes for my birthday from the credit union. I've been in banks as long as hey, I've never got a cake from a bank yet. <laughs> I did a couple of cars through here. I did a home equity loan through here. I did a roof on my house here. I was laid off for a while. During that time, my home equity loan was in it. So they, get, they offered for me to redo it again so I have a lower payment. So I was still saying, maintain my good credit and everything, you know. But like I told them, well, I'm not ready to do that yet, but if I do, it's nice to know that you're willing to work with me on that there, so. And that was unbelievably big. I couldn't imagine it would be this big myself, it's beyond my imagining, no. But even though they have grown, they still are friendly. I think the folks at Cornerstone are the, some of the best people I've ever known. I've seen them when their hair was black. I see it turning gray now. They got kids and grandkids like I got, so. I've got five family members that belong to this here, and they got no choice. <laughs> and then there's Herb and Eleanor Hyde. They've been Cornerstone members since 1980. When they decided to open Fort Hyde Kennels in the early 1990s, Cornerstone was there. Since then, they've more than tripled in size and added more services. Typically, the kennel involves uh, you know, a lot of boarding dogs. Dogs are getting dropped off for boarding, getting picked up from boarding as well. We do a lot of bathing, nail clipping, ear cleaning. We do brush dogs' teeth. 
We offer yappy hour on Saturdays. So yappy hour is like a social hour for the dogs. In order to be successful in a business like this, in addition to the love of dogs, you have to be dedicated. You gotta be here because you wanna be here. You can't come in and look at this as a paycheck because it's not, it's more than that. I was a Cornerstone member before I joined here. My grandma, back in the day, got me my first banking account and it was at Cornerstone and I haven't had any issues so I would never dream of switching. A lot of our employees at this point have joined Cornerstone. So they sign up, they start working with us and it's like, hey, we use Cornerstone, we do the direct deposit, this, that and the other and a lot of them have switched over and the same thing, they have all loved it as well. When we walk into Cornerstone, they know that we're Fort Hyde so you get that personal attention. I know we've had lots of questions and we call them and if they don't know the answer, they'll connect us to someone that does so there's never any disconnect in that department and they're just a great company to work with. If I had to pick a breed of dog that would represent Cornerstone, I would say probably a Labrador Retriever because they're, they're loyal, they're friendly, and they're always by your side. The credit union tradition is people helping people, giving them a solid foundation so they can build a better future and preparing the next generation to get off to a good start. Way back when I first started at Harrison, it was right out of the service. There was 6,000 people working there and it just started at minimum wage and just worked our way up and to where we got to be today. He'd come home with his paycheck and he'd say, this is how much money I made, this is how much overheim I put in, and he'd pile up the money and he'd explain to us very specifically how much had to go for everything, yeah. right? They taught us well. I mean, they taught us to save, and when the kids started getting money for their different uh, activities, for their birthdays or for Christmas, we started accounts for them. I've been with Cornerstone all my life since you know, Kangaroo Kids program up through just opening up a uh, checking account and having a savings account since then. I've uh, I've been with them and I've I've trusted them and they've been there to help me. Well, I wanted to teach them all that you got to put a little bit away. You got to save and you got to work. Pay your bills, and even if just putting a dollar away, you got to put a little bit away. You never know if there's that one like toy you want to get, and you spent your money on something little the other day, and you don't have enough. There were plenty of times when I was a younger kid where I, I would see something on the shelf where it was a toy or something where I would go, "Oh, I, I really want that." My parents would always tell me, "If you like that now, maybe there's something you'll like even more in the future." Over time, I've been saving up for my car, so when I finally found the car that I, I wanted, I was able to take it out and buy the car. Thomas got started with his lawn mowing because he wanted to make some extra money and increase his bank account, so he started mowing our lawn and then asked the neighbors if they might like to, you know, use some of his lawn services. You don't need to spend money right away when you get it. You can just save it up and it'll be safe at Cornerstone. I think Cornerstone is different from other banks because it's hometown. It's family when you go there and they know who you are and you feel comfortable and they're a part of the community. Personally, to me, it means it, it's a rock. It's a cornerstone of everything. It's more than just a bank. It's, it's a family and it's part of the community. They've become uh, bigger than just a bank. As we celebrate this milestone, we look back over 60 years of commitment to our members. We're proud of our history and all that we've accomplished. From our humble beginnings in 1957 to our five branches throughout Niagara County. Most importantly, we're extremely thankful to have served you for these last 60 years and hope that we've impacted your life for the better. We're excited to see what the next 60 years will bring, how the credit union will grow and change, and how we'll continue to help our members realize their dreams. And so, to all of our members, past, present, and future, we humbly say, From all of us at Cornerstone Community Federal Credit Union, thank you for 60 years of memories. Mm -hmm.